connection. Okay, this is something that I picked up over on Keymailer recently. screen option? There's usually a button for that, right? What's this one? F11. Okay, that's what I thought. Full screen does not work. Awesome. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm too soft for the spooky, so let's let's do a visual novel. <laughs> this is a work of fiction. There are also scenes where the screen flashes brightly. Proceed with caution. Play in a well-lit room and keep an appropriate distance from the screen. It all began a certain night when a storm was about to pass. In a basement where the ceiling looms over its guest like a tombstone over its grave. <laughs> My dear Frankenstein! Yay! Look, Doctor! That's not the button. What's the button? We were successful. He's moving. Okay, it's entered. Yes, how wonderful. Both the brain and body seem to be functioning better than expected. I... what? This place... why? Who are you? He can talk. We'll explain anything you want to know later. Can you stand? I can feel the warmth from his hand. That's right, this is... warm. This is... a hand. It moves. My head. It thinks. My lungs. They breathe. I start perceiving my body and everything around me, one thing at a time. <laughs> Incredible. He really can move. Your name is Adam. Do you understand? Adam. I am... Adam. That's right, Adam. I am Miguel, your creator. You are Miguel. That's correct. Don't forget it. Doctor, did you hear that? He called my name. Miguel, I appreciate your excitement, but we must not get ahead of ourselves. It could confuse the boy. Adam, please stand up slowly. Just like that, you're doing well. I see you can walk on your own. Let us go to the room upstairs, then. We need to get you some clothes and a drink to moisten your throat. Chapter 1. Monday. Born under a tombstone. This is your room. The automata will help you put on your clothes. Once you're done, come down to the dining room. Oh, I've actually got like... More classical music, let's go. Oh, okay, got it. So it's actually kind of point and click. It's an automata that doesn't talk. Barnes Co. N2000 is engraved on the back of her hand. It looks like she can help me put my clothes on. It's a perfect fit. I wonder if there are any human servants. Anyways, I'll head to the dining room. Okay, so we're playing by Phoenix Wright rules. Got it. If there's anything you'd like to know, go ahead and ask. Uh, it'll be you. Ye. 
I, Miguel Barnes, am your creator, and also your father. As the head of this household, I'm also the highest rank member. He has a scary attitude, but you have nothing to be afraid of. What are you saying? I'm merely pointing out your high stand, high ended behavior. If you have any complaints, please address them when Adam is not around. Please don't go recklessly scaring others like this. Good grief. What is this place? This is the Barnes Mansion in Shipbury. It will also be your home starting today. If you want a more detailed answer, take a look at the bookshelf in your room. I'm certain there was a book called The City of Shipbury. What, what do I do now? First of all, you're already doing well if you know how to move your body. You can move your body preebly. <laughs> if you get tired, hurried bed. Your room is just up the stairs. No, I do now. Oh, wait, I, I just said that. Never mind. You can now meet Regal, Miguel by going to Menu Notebook. Yo, Miguel. Ye. Let's talk to the doctor. Oh, Paige made a great choice for your outfit. It suits you well. Here, sit down. Have some tea. Already done. I'm having peppermint tonight. There are matters we have to discuss. That reminds me, I haven't introduced myself yet. Please call me doctor. Do note that I don't have a PhD. In actuality, it is but a nickname. Who are you? Who am I? That's a difficult question, really. I don't have a fundamental answer yet. In any case, you can think of me as Miguel's teacher. Doctor, you aren't an automata. No, I'm a being of alchemy, quite like you. This body is a mere skeleton. The soft tissue has been thoroughly removed. It's perfectly clean, so please don't worry about that. I'd be damned if you think Adam can feel at ease after hearing that. Anyway, he may not look like it, but he's a decent man. I can guarantee that much. What am I? Oh, you seem curious. You're a new life born from the combined efforts of alchemy and science. But please don't trouble yourself with such things. You're Adam. Isn't that all you need to know? Who Paige? Oh, I mentioned Paige earlier, didn't I? She's Miguel's cousin and lives in this mansion as well. She's such a kind and clever woman. I'm certain she'll be a lovely friend to you. At the moment, she's back at her family's home, but you'll meet her soon. Be good. You can now read Doctor by going to the menu. Doctor. Yay. Are you leaving to rest? Eh, hey. I see. Good night, Adam. Please don't hesitate to ask if you need anything. Sweet dreams. Yep, good night. How was that? Just like I said, huh? Indeed, you are quite right. He's able to understand and use language, and possesses intelligence as well. We were fortunate his brain was in good condition. But that alone... We did all we could possibly do. Have some faith. You're too pessimistic. Cautiousness is a virtue. That's such a boring way to live. I'm already dead. Besides, you think you can keep deceiving him forever. Who knows? You better hope that I can see him for a long time. Indeed. Ooh, we're being deceived. I'm starting to feel a little tired. It's hard to believe so much time has passed. I should sleep. Wake up. Wake up, Adam. You're still half asleep. But there's something we have to talk about. So open your eyes. Who are you? I'm just a ghost. I want to be your friend. Okay. Okay. That's what I like to hear. I'll be your friend from now on then. May our trust keep blooming as sure as the almond flowers announcing the spring each year. This is the first time I made a friend. It's a pleasure, dear Adam. Same here, my friend. Alright, we have another important matter to discuss. You've got a job to do. Truth is, your heart shattered into pieces. Can't you feel it? I cannot. If there are a lot of things you can't feel, it's because you don't have enough heart yet. Oh god, we're playing Kingdom Hearts again. As we speak, the fragments of your heart lay scattered all over the city. Let's head out and collect them together. It can be like an easy treasure hunt. Sounds fun, don't you think? Okay. I knew you would say that. See, you're a very curious boy. I think that's a wonderful trait. 
After all, curiosity may has made humanity prosper. Very well. First of all, let's head toward the city square. I'll lead the way. I may just be an incorporeal ghost, but I'm a bit familiar with this city. Come, while the darkness is still welcoming. You can now read ghost. Let's go. What a lovely coat. Thanks. But I wonder if it was okay to take it without asking first. Don't worry about it. It was in your room, so you can be sure it was prepared for you. Oops, excuse me. Ah! Ick! I am sorry. Go away. That was just some rude brute. Don't pay him any mind. Okay, let's take a darker path. Look, on top of that statue. The glitter you see, those are fragments of your heart. But you can't reach that high. I wonder if you can climb up there somehow. Let's check our surroundings. I guess we should stay away from people. This area isn't very bright. Keep your hood up and you'll be okay. Alright. Tessa reads, Leacock, the fifth mayor. When I look up, I see the statue staring down at me. It's like it could start moving at any moment. Even if I were to stand on my tiptoes, I wouldn't be able to reach the fragments. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling super good. What am I even saying? I guess I drank a bit too much. You, do I know you? Wait, your face, it's kind of weird. But that sort of odd thing looks cool. Anyway, what you want? Want to talk about the disobedient city lights? Or will it be about the moving bronze statue? The statue moves? Yeah, yeah, it moves. Apparently, it'll lean over if you light all the street lights. Sure is a nice statue, that statue of Mayor whatever his name was. Really? Some reward for lighting all the street lights night after night. <laughs> well, not like it's gonna give me a tip anyway. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not feeling so good now. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm all, I might, I might. I think drinking a little more will help me feel better even. Is this person really okay? Well, what about taking his lighting pole? Maybe you can use it to reach the statue. This is the lighting pole? Hey, I need that for work. Hmm, sober him up and convince him, or make him drink more so he falls asleep? What should we do? Good evening. An unfamiliar face, huh? What's your name? I'm Adam. Can you even see with your eyes like that? No, but I still knew. How? At night, people's eyes fail, but their hearts become sharp. At this very moment, you and I are basically the same. I don't think I get it. That's right. I'm not sure I get it either. Even though you were the one who said it? Even though you were the one who said it? I'm not the same person I was one second ago. Is that so? I wonder about it myself. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. I have to introduce myself. My name is Didier. But everyone comes to be old Diddy. Can I call you that too? Of course. Thanks. You can now read Didier by going to the menu notebook. Are you leaving? Well then, may you have a fine night. It's right inside the shop, I shouldn't get close. I'm going to say lend me your stool, please. Why would you want this stool? There's something on top of the statue that I want, but I can't reach it. If you try to reach the top of the statue with such a small stool, you're likely to fall. So I can't take it? It's not like I'm completely refusing. Do come again if you don't find any other way. It's possible that Milan, Melanie from the street shop can help you. She's such a kind girl. The sweet shop. Oh, welcome. I have everything from candy and cookies to chocolate. Aren't they delightful? Mince pie is my specialty. Mama Kitty's recipe. looks yummy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. Oh, don't just stand there. Come in. Oh, uh, that face. Wait, sorry. It's it's not... But it is... Uh, this is wrong. Wait one moment, please. Sorry, your name was... Adam. I'm Melanie. Here, have some mince pie to celebrate our meeting. Are you sure? Go ahead, go ahead. I bet nobody else is going to come anyway. Help yourself. Thanks. Adam, do you live around here? I live in Miguel's, I mean, in the Barnes Mansion. 
Oh, the mansion of that Baron Vars from the rumors. Rumors? Uh, never mind that. Tell me. They're not nice rumors. So, you know. I want to know. Tell me. Well, the rumors say the mansion is cursed. Haunted, even. I see. In any case, you shouldn't care about that kind of stuff. Sorry for bringing it up. Can I read Melanie Begley? Okay, I talk to you. Good evening, Adam. Welcome to the sweet shop. How can I help you? Um, can I have some water, please? Water? I don't mind, but what's the matter? It looks like the lamplighter drank too much. Again? Really, he's hopeless. Can you do me a favor and tell him to stop drinking so much? Got it. Thanks, Melanny. I obtained water. Can I check it by going to the menu item main machine? And what are we talking about? I give you water. Here, drink some water. Oh, okay, you're such a good kid. Thanks, I think I'm starting to feel a little better. So, can I borrow your lighting pole for a bit? Sure, but this tool produces flames. Can you promise me you'll be really careful handling it? I promise. Then help me out and light the street lights around here. I'll try. Thanks for letting me have it. I should be the one thanking you, little brother. You obtained lighting pole. Okay, I'll check it by going to the menu item order. Oh, great. Oh, hello, my dude. Hey, there we go. The statue reaches its hand forward and the heart fragments fall down gently. When you get heart fragments, you'll be able to split them between empathy and reason. There won't be a game over no matter how you decide to grow. Feel free to follow your own intuition. You can reassign the heart fragments you get for main missions by replaying the chapter. Empathy stands for kindness, love, faith, and passion. Reason stands for intelligence, calculation, practicality, and calmness. By using empathy, you'll be able to make choices that resonate with others. By developing reason, you'll be able to make choices that are less emotionally driven. Yeah, we'll just kind of split it up. E. I wonder if that was a statue's way of thanking you for lighting the square. Huh? The heart fragments vanished. Don't worry, they're inside you. Inside me? Riku... Riku's inside me? Yes, that's a good thing. We're done here, so let's go home. Don't you hate that ugly fireball that engulfs the sky in light? I sure do. Ah, that's right. One last thing. It's about Miguel and the others. They're people with a lot of secrets. Be careful. Are you saying they're bad people? No, that's not what I meant. Often when things seem to go wrong, it's because one man's kindness is another man's suffering. Malice exists? Yes, that's also true. But don't let that blind you. Please. Click on the bed in your bedroom at the farm edge. And chapter one. E, we sleep. Good night, Adam. As though comforting a little child, his white, transparent hand caresses my head gently. I try to breathe slowly. I'm alive. That feeling of safety lulls me into a deep sleep. Nice to meet you. I'm Paige, Miguel's cousin. I'm happy to meet you at last. Miguel has told me about all about you. More classical music, great. I hope he didn't tie you out with such a boring conversation. Oh, no, he seemed to love you like a little sister. And he kept praising your intelligence. Hey, stop this pointless conversation already. It's so nice, though. I want to hear more. Go home after you finish what you're doing. You'll worry your mother. Take me back home in your car. You were so excited about having finally bought a steam car. I want to ride in it, too. 
Don't be so troublesome. Oh, by the way, I'm supposed to be at the professor soon. I'd appreciate it a lot if you could give me a ride there, too. I'd be so thankful as well. You guys are hopeless. Seriously. Um... Alright, I guess I should get the car out. I'm going to get ready, so wait a moment. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Miguel. You know your name. Ever since Uncle died, Miguel has looked terribly sad, but he seemed very happy that you came to visit. Really? Please keep looking after him. I look at her with a smile. And then I... I... Ah, uh, that's right. I... wake up. Okay, I think that's a cool spot to wrap that up. Why? I'll be right back. <laughs>